Hey, what is going on guys? I know a lot of you have been asking about how to download and set up Fortnite Project Nexus on PC, which currently runs chapter one, season eight, and is planning on running chapter two, season two in the future. So in today's video, I'm gonna do a full install tutorial for Project Nexus on PC. Do note that Project Nexus does support some mobile platforms, but this guide is not applicable to those platforms. We're gonna cover five key steps today, which is joining the Discord, registering for an account, downloading the launcher, logging into the launcher, and then downloading the build. Once you complete that, those five steps, you should be able to play. With that, let's start with step number one, which is joining the Discord. I highly recommend you join the Discord as this will give you the ability to see the announcements tab, see what's going on with Nexus and all that fun stuff. It also doesn't take much time at all. All you have to do is type Nexus Fortnite Discord into your search browser, uh, browser of choice, and then click on the search result that has Nexus-Discord like this. Then you'll accept the invite, and then since I've already been in the server before, it doesn't prompt me to do the setup steps, but the setup steps are very simple. You select your language, you select your region, you select your uh, platform of choice. This is very useful because you can go to the announcements tab, see what's going on. Nexus does update pretty frequently as you can see here. There was one yesterday, one on the 9th, one on the 6th, so pretty frequent updates. So this can be a good place to check every so often. With that, let's move on to step number two, which is creating an account. It's very easy to do. The fastest way is just to go to the website itself. So type in playnexusfn.com into your search bar. And this will take you to the Project Nexus um, website. You're gonna click on the sign up button in the top right, right here, click on that. And then you'll be able to type in your username, email address, password, and then repeat your password. Um, one thing to note is that sometimes if your username is longer than 16 characters, it may throw an error saying your username can't be longer than 25 characters. What I've noticed, the way to fix this is just to shorten your username to 15 or 14, try and get it below 15. And the point is that it seems to be the text may be incorrect where it says less than 25 is the rule. It might actually be a bit lower than that. So just try shortening your username until it works. Otherwise, just type in your account information and then click register an account. Okay, so once you've clicked register an account, um, you should be taken to these, this uh, profile page. It'll say, welcome back, whatever username you have. To download the launcher, which is our third step, we're gonna click on the home page here. And you can click on this download button, but all this is gonna do is just push you down the page to where the actual download button is, which is right here, which is download for free for Windows. So you're gonna click on this button and then click on it to open it when it's done and then just wait for it to install. Or to download, I should say, as the install process is next. So once this finishes, you should see this page, which will be the start of the Nexus FN Installer Setup Wizard. If you don't see this, no worries. Just click on File Explorer, go to your Downloads folder, and see if the Nexus FN Installer is here. If it is, you can just double-click that to run. If you don't see it here, that indicates the download may have failed. So go ahead and press Download for free for Windows again and see if it works then. So assuming this is up, you're going to click Next. And then you can use the default installation if you'd like to put it in a specific folder where you know where it is, that's also fine, but this seems to be okay. And then you're gonna click install and just wait for it to do its thing. It generally is pretty quick. It won't take long at all. As you can see, it's already done. And then you're gonna wanna click, um, this arrow should be checked by default to launch. If it's not, no worries, you can manually start up the Nexus launcher from the Windows uh, start menu here, but it's easiest if it's already clicked, then click finish. And then you should be taken to the Nexus launcher. And this is gonna move us to step four, which is logging in. And that's a super easy step. All you have to do is just type in the information you, you put in in step two into this right here and then log in. Okay, so now we are in the Nexus launcher and then we're gonna to move to our next step, which is downloading the actual game files itself. So you're gonna to wanna to click on library here and then you're gonna see there's available season, season eight and then a button to install Fortnite. But when you click on it, okay, it's gonna prompt you to take you to this page. And then it's gonna ask you, okay, when you click install Fortnite, where do you wanna install it? It's not necessarily terrible to install it in Nexus games. If you remember this uh, chain of where it is, this is not necessarily a problem. But what I recommend you do is go to this PC, click on a drive that has decent performance you wanna install Nexus on. It's about 40 gigs or so, so make sure there's enough space. I create a folder and title it Project Nexus. And then I create another folder and title it um, season eight or 8.51 or something like that. This isn't necessarily required, but I think what this will help you is when you're uh, importing your build, if you have an issue, it's much easier to find your uh, build files if you've already created some file system that you can remember easily. But if you remember exactly where this is, this default is also okay. But I just think it's a bit easier just to create your own file system just so you know exactly where to go to install it. So we're just gonna use my custom uh, location and we're gonna click install. 
which is going to take, yeah, as you can see here, 46 gigs. So make sure you have enough space. You know, if you have less than 59 gig uh, or 46 gigs, then you're going to have a problem. So click install. And then this is going to heavily depend on your internet speed over how long this is going to take. Um, if you have fast internet, it could be just a few minutes. If you have slower internet, it could be a few hours. So there's nothing you can do there. You're just going to have to wait. Okay, so once this is the download is done, you should have a prompt to launch the game right here. But let's say in the event that that does not happen. What you're going to do is click on library here and then click on import an existing installation. Now, this is the reason why I recommend you make your own filing system. So it's very clear um, where the uh, Fortnite game files and engine files are stored. But if you use the default installation, that's also totally fine. Hopefully you remembered where that is. You can go navigate to it. And with that, um, you'll be able to play right here. Once you click import existing installation in the event it didn't work, but if it did work, you should just be able to start now. So I hope this video was helpful and I'll catch you in the next one.